Hi Sunshines and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I did tell you this year I wanted to be a little bit more vulnerable with you and share the real life. I have been trying to do that more on Instagram. I've been sharing more how I'm feeling and showing you like the mess of the house because I do feel like sometimes we watch YouTubers or Instagrammers and we think that their life is perfect and nobody's life is perfect. But I definitely wanted to be a little bit more transparent this year. I did allude over on Instagram that I was feeling like sad in January. I couldn't sort of pull myself out of it. I've since realized that I wasn't sad. I just wasn't really having any emotion. Like normally I'm sort of bebopping through the house and singing and happy. Um, I wasn't sad, I wasn't happy, I was just kind of mad. And I couldn't figure out why and I couldn't get myself out of it. And I've really been struggling for the past few weeks to figure out why. So I'm just gonna share some of my vulnerabilities with you. I'm going to ask that you're very respectful in the comments because when somebody's being vulnerable and then you attack them in the comments, which this community doesn't do, but if it's a drive-by person, um, I'm just gonna ask everyone to be very respectful. And um, because if you wanna be vulnerable in the comments, I want it to be a safe place for you too. So I wrote some, notes down because I feel like I could be rambly with this topic. <laughs> I don't know. I might still be rambly. But basically, I, I think I shared this in my mukbang video. I had a fabulous after Christmas. The boys were gone for 10 days. It was just me and Emma home. We ate what we wanted. We watched what we wanted. We went to the movies. We did what we wanted. We had no agenda. We didn't have to be anywhere. It was glorious. It really was amazing. And then January hit, we got back into our real life. The kids went back to school and I was like, okay, I'm ready to get back into the routine. Cause I was hitting it pretty hard in December. I, I think I filmed 28 videos in 30 days. So I was ready to jump back into YouTube and just, um, just hit it hard. And I just wasn't feeling YouTube. I wasn't feeling anything about any of my life. I just, like I said, did not have any um, passion, I guess, for anything. And it was kind of frustrating me because I'm typically a very positive person and typically very an upbeat person. And I just couldn't find that within myself. And so I even took some time in January and said, okay, you need to focus on contentment. Something is wrong. Let's focus on contentment. So I decided to just have like a no spend. I didn't even talk to my husband or my kids about it. I haven't really still talked to them about it. Um, you know, I have a lot of books that I want to read. I have a sewing project. There's a couple like shows I wanted to watch. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to work on being content at home and not kind of fill any voids with shopping. I'm not a big shopper anyway. You guys might not believe that based on my YouTube channel, but that comes out of a separate pot of money that I earn. Um, so just really taking some time to be content. I also canceled a ton of boxes and I thought I'm just gonna marinate and figure out what boxes I wanna bring back onto my channel. I wanted to sort of, sort of update and bring some freshness to my channel. And so I thought when I get paid in January um, my, for my YouTube paycheck, I will go ahead and add a few more boxes in. And all the boxes that I thought that I wanted when I got paid, all of a sudden didn't seem interesting to me anymore. So I'm kind of in a rut there. I'm not, I, I did add one uh, box. A lot of you are wanting to see new clothing boxes. I'm going to be real honest with you. Those are not going to happen until the spring. I am very open to adding new clothing boxes and taking some away, but not until the spring. I just have a full winter wardrobe and it's not fair to a company to ask them to send me stuff when I really don't need anything that I'm going to be sending stuff back. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I kind of was feeling not feeling my YouTube content, to be honest. Loving YouTube and loving you guys, but really feeling this overwhelming desire to want to change things. And I wanted to vlog. I can't figure out how to get my footage out of my camera into my Mac. I've done all the things and all the tutorials and still I'm missing a piece. So that's been a little bit frustrating. Anyway, all that to say, um, there was nothing physically wrong with me. There's no reason for me to feel I don't think it's discontent either, just that blah feeling. So anyway, I um, started watching a video the other day and I was, I was looking for a topic, I don't remember what it was. 
but it basically was this girl and she was saying that her, this isn't really about YouTube, but it's gonna be about YouTube for the next five minutes, so hang on, okay. She was um, saying her channel was doing so well that YouTube actually contacted her and said, and that gave her like an hour call or a 30 minute call or something and gave her some tips that will help kind of move your channel forward. And so I wrote those down and I was a little excited because it was all stuff that I could sort of fix within my channel, all really easy stuff. And to sort of go back, I will say that September for me was my absolute best month in YouTube ever. And then October and November hit and it was like, not really subscribers or anything more, I'm talking about more money wise. And honestly, I do make a paycheck with YouTube. Um, which is fine, that's okay. I work really hard for it. I don't, I'm not gonna apologize for it. I really, really love it. But when you're starting to make a paycheck and then it almost gets cut in half, it's frustrating. Well, YouTube changed their algorithm in October. Now, the algorithm for YouTube really dictates what videos are going to be in the trending page, what videos they're going to put in people's suggested feeds, like if you liked this video, maybe you would like this one, um, which doesn't bother me because YouTube is a business. They're here to make money, and I feel so fortunate to be able to be on this platform. But I know big creators and little creator creators alike were all having a lot of trouble figuring out, you you almost were like, what is I'm, what what am I doing wrong? And I did the same thing in October and November that I was doing in September when I did so well. So it was very frustrating. And there are people that are succeeding with this new algorithm and I'm so incredibly happy for them. Like really, I'm not, I, I really wanna always lift people up, no jealousy or anything. But it does make you think like, what am I doing wrong? Do you know what I mean? So I think that in the back of my head, there was a little bit of that. There was also some voices in my head saying, well, you wanna vlog, but you don't have these little cute kids and this cute family and this fabulous house that you can vlog in, which is total BS. It's total BS. I started watching um, over 40 vloggers in December and was like, where are these voices in my head coming from? All that to say, we're back to January. And I watched this video. I can't really link the video because I don't even know who it was. I feel really bad. Um, but she gave some tips. So I'm gonna be working on that, which gave me some excitement. I went out of town to Charleston this weekend and I was like, that was it. I just needed to like switch up my environment. I feel really good. But then I hit Tuesday and I was like, and Wednesday, mm, not really excited again. I was getting right back into that rut. I'm very, very frustrated. Then today, Today, again, it goes back to YouTube, I started watching a video and it was Angela Braniff's channel. If you watch this Gathered Nest, she also has a personal channel. And she was talking about, she's worked her butt off in YouTube, but she also has these seven adorable kids and she homeschools. She has lots of topics that she can do for YouTube, but she's worked her butt off and um, she got a book deal. And she was talking about her book deal and how she didn't even know it was a dream and then she had sent her manuscript into a company and they were like not interested and then she started working with somebody else and had multiple offers including the company that originally turned her down and i don't know it was so inspiring i was crying during the video i was crying for her and happiness because i've watched her for years and years but i was also crying for me and i didn't even realize it until the video was over and i realized that somewhere along the way I stopped dreaming. Like that makes me, I wanna cry. I don't know if you get into that, whether you're content, you kind of put your head down, raise your children, be in your marriage, cook the dinners, get your kids where they need to be. You kind of lose yourself along the way. That's one of the reasons that I started YouTube was to sort of have something that was mine. I volunteer, I do a lot of things for other people. I don't do a lot of things for myself which is fine. And guys, I realize if you're sitting behind the camera right now and you're like, oh, total first world problems, I get it. If you're sitting behind the camera and are like, my husband is chronically ill or I have um, cancer or whatever, like I'm not taking away from any of that. This is totally like a superficial <laughs> problem. But I do think it is a problem for women maybe my age. My kids are at an age where they don't need me anymore. And so what I wanna to say to that is, it's okay for me to have these feelings, or maybe I feel like because I know other people are suffering, it's not okay for me to have these feelings. And that's what I wanna to say to you guys, is it's okay. It's okay to be on your feelings for a minute. And I think that I had just not allowed myself to be there for a little while to the point that I had just numbed out. 
And so I really took some time today and I prayed and I wrote down, actually I didn't bring them up, but I took, oh, I did bring them up. I wrote down um, a bunch of three by five cards and I wrote down my dreams. I wrote down my dreams and they're not stuff on my vision board. These are like big dreams. One of them is so silly and if I told you, you would probably laugh in my face and I would be okay with you laughing in my face. Honestly, I would. Um, but it's something that I would really have always wanted to do and it's something that I have absolutely no control over whether I would get to do it or not. That's all I'm gonna say. There's stuff on there like travel and things like that, but all of a sudden I'm excited. Like even though I did this YouTube channel and was very excited, now I feel like I have a direction to go. I have dreams that I wanna follow. And I also know that I have dreams that, do you know why you have something on the tip of your tongue but you can't quite remember what you wanna, the word you wanna say? I almost feel like that with my dreams. Like I actually prayed, this morning, please give me dreams that are God dreams, that are dreams that I can't even have control over, not that silly thing, um, but big dreams that only can come from God that I put in his hands because he has so much more in store for us than we could ever want. And so I feel like that. I feel like there's a dream on the tip of my head, but I don't know what it is yet. Something that gives me passion. Um, my kids still need me, they're 14 and 15, but they need me less and less as the years go by and I really want to this time to be a little bit of time for me and that is okay. So I just wanna tell you guys, if your head is down and you're trudging through life and you're not looking up and you're having a little bit of trouble finding your joy, I want you to stop. I want you to dream a little bit. It's okay to dream, it's okay for us to want something for ourselves. And so if you feel bold enough, please post them down below. Um, I will also say, if you have those negative voices in your head, girl, I'm with you. I hear it, I hear it. Um, it's something that I'm working very hard to squish, to like get out of my head, those voices, um, because they're internal that say you can't do things or you don't have those cute kids, so you can't do the vlogs or you, whatever they are, silly stuff. Most of the time it's silly, total lies. Um, but I wanna say like, post the lies down below. Let's squash them. Let's like rip them up and throw them away because I want each of us to live our total best life and it's okay to be content. It's great to be content. We are supposed to be content, but it's also okay to dream and to wish and to want a little bit more. If it's a little dream, that's okay, or a big dream. I hope this video didn't seem frivolous or silly um, because I don't mean it to. Um, I just want you to know that if you're feeling the same way, like let's, let's talk about it in the comments. Let's have open dialogue because um, I don't know, I feel like I have myself back. And I know it's so silly, those few weeks of just feeling blah, but you guys might have been feeling that for years. I don't know, I think maybe I was feeling a little more that way longer than I thought. And so just really looking inside of myself and figuring out what it was. I'm thankful for that video I watched. I'm thankful for YouTube and my journey. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. My name is Christy, if you're new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And again, let's have a great dialogue. Share your dreams down below, share if, you're having negative voices in your head and let's talk about it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.